Welcome back guys to another video of Girls channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys tips to go from iron all the way to platinum this season in boxing beta. Unfortunately, as you guys can see, I'm 2182, which is the fifth rank in this leaderboard. And that is way far from platinum, which is 2800. And uh, I don't intend on hitting it this season just because I don't want to play the game that much. Uh, I might try and hit diamond. Diamond, I, I know I can probably hit. I just have to play the game a lot, and uh, I have a lot of things to do in my real life stuff. Just pull up a clip of me playing hockey real quick. So yeah, I have a lot of things to do, so I won't be grinding the game as much, but I will still be able to help you guys out to try and get better at the game. I have, I believe, an 80% win rate in the ranked ring, so that's pretty good. So yeah, I'm going to be teaching you guys some tips from, from each rank to see um, where we go. So iron, bronze, silver, gold, emerald. Diamond and plot will be mixed together because I, be I believe they're very close together. And I believe there's one more rank that they're going to announce soon. I'm not going to say anything because I know the rank, but I'll wait for them to announce it soon. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please leave a like and subscribe. And let's get on with Iron. Just to um, just to put it out there, guys, uh, top guy on the leaderboard was my old coach. Uh, I have to find him so I can speak with him again. But yeah, uh, Kakaki Crusher was my old coach, and he taught me from when I went to 2430 all the way to 2500. So uh, this guy is legit. You guys can see he's still on the top of the leaderboard, so W's to him. Anyways, let's get on with these tips. So the first tip that we're going to talk about now for the Iron players is uh, play the game. Yeah, sounds stupid, isn't it? Iron is the first rank in the game. I believe it goes from 400 to 600. I might be wrong. Um, but guys, just play the game when you're in this rank. Just play the game. Have fun. Do whatever you want. Um, literally just play to play. And then that's how you're going to build love for the game, which will make you have motivation to go for the rest of these ranks. So just play the game. Have fun. Play casual if you want. Then jump into some rank against some friends or whatever. And you'll have a good time. Just remember, from iron to bronze, I think even bronze to silver, you don't lose much elo uh, from from losing. You could gain zero, or you'll, you'll lose zero sometimes. Or, like, you'll gain 200 for a win, but lose, like, five. So there's no, like, big drop-off from playing ranked in these two very early on. But the from starting from silver and up, it does get tougher. Gold still. Even from gold to emerald, I was not losing. I would win more elo than I would lose. So just playing the game will get you so far from throughout these three ranks, but mainly for iron because that will get you to build love for the game, get better at the game, so then you'll be able to beat better opponents. All right, now for bronze. Bronze, I need you guys to focus on one thing, and that is timing. Timing is, for anyone who doesn't know timing, you see this left bar on the left side of the screen. You I'll zoom in. You guys see that bar on the left side of the screen? Every time I punch, it fills up. You, need, you don't need to fill up the bar completely. You just need to get it so that part of the bar hits the third meter. You guys see how I'm timing it inside the third meter? That's what you guys have to do for perfect timing. That will consistently give you eight punches, and that will be that. Just getting in the habit of doing this over and over will get you so many more wins, it's not even funny. So here, let me go and give you guys an example right here. So if you guys go on the punching bag here, just doing this will give you the eight punches that you need. Um, this is what the time you should try and keep up with if you want to just look I uh, go to a punching bag go into a game and just look at your meter don't care about losing or not just kind of look at your meter and then once you get better you add a block into it so you guys can see every time I punch I block you guys have to try and do that combo that will probably be the best combo of the game because 80, 80 to 90 percent of the fights you are going to be blocking so doing making sure you punch and then block right after is probably the best thing you can do since there is no delay with your punch, you can start blocking right after the punch throws and then you'll be good. You don't have to wait for your punch to come back before you can block again. And why are you punching me? Boom! Guys, she's weird. Learning how to time and punching and then blocking right after is probably the best thing you'll have to do. This is what we call trading. Uh, this will be a thing that you'll learn uh, as you get through the ranks. It's nothing you can really teach. Uh, this is really just a thing you get used to as you get on and on with the ranks. 
So that's uh, one thing you'll have to get used to is just but learning this combo right here is probably going to get you so many more wins against the lower ranks because all the lower ranks do they do this they grab that controller they just stand up back up from their con they just go like and why is everyone punching me bro why 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 they don't see a big shield above my head but yeah basically this is what's gonna get you guys your wins you just gotta hit them with uh the punch block combo and this will get you most wins all the way throughout bronze to silver even from silver to gold you'll get a lot uh just keep in mind guys if people seem very good in gold and emerald these are most likely the former platinums from last season so if you guys want to make sure uh that you're fighting someone around your skill level from last season you can go to career and then type in the person's username, uh, actual Roblox username. I'm not sure if the the um, the display name works as well. Let, let me check. Yeah, you need the actual username of the player. So if you want to check a username, you go to tab, click, and then it'll be their display name on top. And the at, it will be their actual um, name. So let's go with mine, by example, Sir Grizzles. Um, it will show you the season one ELO, their current ELO. And their wimps. I have a 92 win percent in ranked, so that's pretty good. Um, yeah, so that that's what's gonna show on their avatar. It'll show their season one elo. Let's say this guy's silver, but the former elo was let's say diamond 2400. Then it's not gonna go well for you. Now from silver and gold, these ones I'm gonna group together because you guys just get joy from punching someone like this. Like, is this what gives you guys joy? You know, I had enough. I'm going to private server. <laughs> Watch, if somebody joins me in my private server, I'm going to lose my mind. All right, we're not on the private server. Let's keep talking. <laughs> so the next tip, this is for the, uh, so, uh, the silver and gold combined. You guys got to learn how to dodge. This sounds stupid, but learn how to dodge. Because whenever I see silver and low golds fight, all I see is this. They just click punch, click punch. They don't give a crap what's going on. And one of my homies joined the game. That's that's just why. But yeah, basically, um, you guys have to learn how to dodge respectively. So you keep that first tip of punching, dodging, punch block, punch block. And then once you see a pattern, you just start, you know, throwing in a dodge here and there. Oh, oh, he's doing it. He's punching a lot. Let me throw a double dodge here. And then you will do a lot better for yourself. This tip will help you out throughout the entirety of the ranks. The one thing is, is the earlier you learn it, the better, because then you'll get used to learning op opponents' patterns. And once you get to these high ranks, patterns are so important that it's, it's that's what's gonna make it through, so that you win or lose. So just to kind of recap on that tip is just to learn when to dodge, um, learning when to block dodge, and everything like that. It's probably gonna give you the most help when it comes to um, fighters that are very aggressive and learning when to start looking for patterns against the opponent if there's some opponents that you'll see a lot of people are like just timing that's it they won't throw another punch then you start l looking for when they start doing that and then you dodge accordingly uh there's a lot of fighters that will do a double punch before blocking again you have to learn how to dodge that first punch so then you'll completely ruin their attack there's a lot of fighters like i said that was just gonna spam their button that one you just time time and then once you lose all your block you start dodging that's gonna be the best tip that I can give you, and it's only silver to gold rank. Now, Emerald. I am an Emerald. I know what I'm talking about. I have fought a 2200, and I somehow won. Don't ask me how. I just did. So basically, guys, so one thing you have to learn with Emerald is block management. I have a whole video on that. You guys can go ahead and watch that. Basically, what block management is, is when your block is completely broken, first off, you don't want to get into that situation. Rule of thumb, you don't want your block to go below six, okay? Rule of thumb. So one, what, you, what do you, what do you want to, so you might be asking yourself, Grizz, what, what do I, what do I do if my block gets broken? So first things first, you go over the dodging and whatnot. So first things first is called, it, it, the first step I can give you is disengaging. Let's say you're playing a guy that's incredibly passive. You're very good at trading, you're able to get his health down, but he keeps getting your block down. So let's say he's very passive, he doesn't want to fight you. You know, you back up. And then you hold your block, but you wait for your block to recharge before going back in. Because if you don't block, you don't get your block up before you go back in, you're going to get broken. And every time, if you guys don't know, every time that your punch gets punched, you punch someone's block, the timer that it takes to start regenerating resets, which is, I believe, three or four seconds. I might have to redo some research. I'll, I'll put it up on the screen if I could find it. Um, but basically, 
every time that you punch someone's block, the timer that it takes to start recharging resets. So basically what you want to do is start is wait for your timer to start like you, you'll see your um, the purple meter on the right or on the top. You'll see it start recharging. That's when you want to go in because by the time that you get to your opponent, your block is going to be 100 percent and that's what's going to win um, all your fights. The second tip that I will give you for block management is learning when to drop your block. Let me explain. So basically, whenever you're fighting, uh, there's a lot of fighters that you'll see. They will drop their block before that you even get in because their block is, let's say, at 15. They're very low on block or whatever. They would rather take a little bit of health from you or try and get some dodges out for their block to be back at 30 instead of um, instead of being very, very, um, instead of being low block and trying to fight it out. So basically, what I mean is, let's say you have an, op uh, an opponent that's, that's always like this. He's always running at you like this. He wants to fight you, right? Let's say your block is pretty low. You're at 15. You're behind the ropes. You're waiting. You're holding your block to regain as much health because now you can't regain your health or stamina anymore uh, from not blocking. So you have to be blocking pretty much, not, like I said, 80 to 90% of the fight. So let's say you're waiting, and then you see him start charging at you. You drop your block, start fighting with some dodges and such, and then once your block comes back, you hold it again. That's going to get you so much good stuff. And make sure that you don't over dodge, because then your block will be back up, but your stamina will be too low to do anything, which then you'll, you'll waste your entire block regaining all your uh, stamina back. So just be careful with when you're punching, when you're dodging, and etc. The next tip I will say for this rank is learning when to hold your block for the inside its, its entire duration. So let's say you have 50 or 50 health or like 80 health and like 30 stamina, right? And you have a max block. The guy comes in for you. All you, you can easily do is hold your block. You hold it all the way until it goes to zero or all the way until it goes to six and below. And then you just wait for your stamina to come back. By the time block gets like completely broken, your health will already be back at 100 and your stamina will probably be in the 80s. So that's going to be the best way to regain. Then again, whenever your block is about to die, you go back to the tip where you drop your guard. That's going to get you back to a lot more health and you'll be able to come back into the fight. And as well, if you time your dodges correctly, you'll be able to ruin their stamina pretty well and that will get you all the wins that you need. So that's basically what you want to learn with Emerald. Emerald, you just want to focus uh, this is when you start getting into the com competitive games. Like these are the games that it's going to be a lot tougher to win. So that's why you want to start getting really, really good in these four ranks where the competition's easy. And then Emerald is going to be a lot tougher. Because keep in mind, guys, the lower the rank you play against, the lower elo you'll gain. But the higher chance, you, if you lose, you'll get you'll lose more. If you fight someone that let's say it's platinum at Emerald, you'll lose maybe three elo. But if you win, you'll gain a good twenty. So it's pretty good. To fight people that are above your rank so that you can get to so get some better games the thing is though if you want to fight people that are below i would say 200 elo max that you should go below unless you're in silver then in silver fight anyone that's the max i would give in gold even probably like 1200 is like the lowest you should go emerald for me i've fought a guy that was 1800 and i only gained five elo from winning that shows the range of where you can't you can fight so just try and fight people against your elo and you'll be less a fake of a rank because um let's say you're emerald but you only fought silvers uh the entire way up you're not you're you're not gonna have the competition of a gold so then a gold just gonna steamroll you unless they're a fake gold as well so just learning to fight within your rank so then you know where you're placed, that's the best thing you can do. And now for Diamond and Platinum. Diamond and Platinum, it's all about making yourself better with all those tips. You want to just make sure you find everything. You want to find a play style. You want to find a way you want to fight. You want to be consistent. You want. This is the toughest two ranks to actually try and grind for. This is what's going to get you incredibly... Like this will... this. These two ranks are what separates, or like a good player and like a greater player. Because if you hit diamond, you're a really good player. You're probably top 1% of the, the game. You hit platinum, you're the best of the best. Like you are like god level tier. And then if they add that next rank, you're just considered a sweat that doesn't get off the game. But basically, knowing these tips will win you so many more games. And once you get to diamond, in making sure you grab all those tips together and making sure that they're very strong together. They will make you win so many more games. And 
um, it'll get you uh, closer to some competitive game. I'm telling you guys, this stuff does not come overnight. You guys may think that, oh, I've been playing for a few months, that's it. Guys, I'm closing in on a year of playing Boxing Beta. Guys, I'm telling you, this is not, this stuff is not easy. This stuff is not going to take, year. I, I, it took me eight, six to eight months just to get to Platinum last season. That just shows how difficult it was. And that was at the time where I was playing every day. I was playing ranked every day. So that just shows how difficult this ranked is. But yeah, that's basically all the tips. I guarantee with these tips, you'll be able to hit gold. But then as you get higher and higher, this is more your grind. I can help you guys out for this. You guys have to help your guys out, your help out for this. I'm not able to teach you to be a better um, Emerald player, Diamond or Platinum, because I have not reached it yet. That's why I'm guaranteeing that a lot of you are going to be able to be able to get past all these ranks with ease. But Emerald and higher, I'd have to get better to even give you guys better tips. So I hope you guys understand if you guys go in the comments. So oh, I'm an Emerald. I'm trying to hit Diamond. Can you help me? I'm not even Diamond yet. How do you want me to help you? So uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, by the way, if you guys are questioning why is my name rebranded Grizzles, um, guys, I will be announcing that soon. Uh, I am doing something big with a few of my friends, so uh, I will be letting you guys know that. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.